Some say he has a crippling phobia of Northern Ireland and that he's the proud owner of the world's largest collection of Pez dispensers. All I know is he's called the Stig. Hey guys, it's Bendy Penguin 64 Welcome back to Grand Theft Auto III. I'm not going to do that joke again because it's not that funny. Uh, in the last episode, we were betrayed by our girlfriend and left for dead because she is selfish and wanted a bigger cut of the money. Yeah, we won't be seeing her for quite a while because now we've got bigger fish to fry. Uh, we're now working for a gangster named Luigi who is actually pretty generous. He gave us quite a bit of money for, uh, for our troubles in the first episode. And now we're going to just be continuing and doing more odd jobs for him. Uh, wait, where's my car? Oh, wait, you idiot. I stashed it in here, didn't I? Uh, well, you know what? Yeah. Old Faithful, we're going for a ride. There we go. And, of course, I've got the music switched off, which is going to be important. Uh, I don't want to have to do that. I would... Well, sorry, mate. Sorry, don't scratch the fuzzer's car. That's bad, they frown upon that. Yeah, I don't want to have to turn the music off because most GTA games, well, pretty much all of them actually, yeah, all of the GTA games have great driving songs on the soundtrack. But if I play them, then I might get shot and then sued. Not necessarily in that order, I'm not sure. But hey, great outfit there. Dude, where do I get clothes like that? That guy looked wicked. Okay, here we go. Next mission. And while this cutscene's playing, I want to try and think of uh, the proper acronym for spank that I was trying to think of in the last episode. Um, super powerful something narcotic cool. Mm, to be fair, maybe spank is supposed to be a suppository, so let's call it super powerful anal narcotic. Okay, you know what? No, that's a horrible image. Yeah, forget it. That, that's it. That's what we're sticking with. Super powerful anal narcotic cool. There you go. Spank. It's the hottest new suppository on the market. Oh, oh even I don't know what's going on with me, guys. Uh, wait, press the R3 button to look behind. Cannot be asked, mate. Cannot be asked. Uh, right. Uh, oh, more pimps on the side. All looking really cool in the big purple snazzy outfits. Whoops. Sorry, Misty. Completely completely failed to recognize where you were right i believe we've got to honk the horn here yeah and i don't think we have to do that too often for the rest of the game i think we only have to do that once and oh my god she makes a snail look like a cheetah okay it's okay they skip forward for a moment i thought we were going to have to watch her just casually meandering across the park at like i don't know 0 0.2 miles an hour for a good 20 seconds or something Right, okay, we've got to take Misty to Joey. Yeah, no trouble, mate. Right, so, let's see. I can't remember how far... Whoops! Sorry. Sorry, mate, that was my fault. Wasn't looking where I was going. And the Stig's normally better at driving than this. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, I can't remember how far it is, but I'm pretty sure that this should be another easy mission. Just get her to Joey's win. Uh, it's going to get much harder. Yeah, trust me. We're going to be seeing some really difficult missions as time goes on. I'm prepared for some solid rage. Yeah, like I said before, this game does discourage failure, yes, so there's going to be some very unfortunate uh, consequences if we do eventually fail a mission. But we'll get to it when we get to it. Ow! Uh, i got to remember, GTA lampposts, they're not your friends. They're surprisingly resilient. Okay, lesson learned. Lesson learned. My apologies to the architects of Liberty City. Okay, this guy's playing some music right now. It's pretty quiet, but I can hear it. I'm going to pray that that is some kind of royalty-free dance track that they use in, like, dance classes for five-year-olds. I'm going to pray that that's not copyrighted music. Uh, it's still playing, so probably best to keep commentary going for a little bit. Okay, no trouble. Cutscene's over. Well, cheers, Joey. You're thinking of me. $1,000. That was worth more than that, surely. Oh, no, no, no. I want a new vehicle. I liked that colour. Oh, this will do. Right, I can't remember. Is this a rumpo or a pony? It's a pony. I'm very happy with that. And, oh, wait, hang on a second. Oh, no, wait. I was about to turn back and go to do Joey's mission, but if I recall, that's a timed one. Like, uh, you have to uh, enter the mission start point between 5 a.m. and 9 p.m., I think it is which is really stupid. I don't know why they did that. I mean, it kind of makes sense because the mechanic shop wouldn't be open at 5, like, uh, well, no, it would be open at 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. Like, it wouldn't be open outside of those hours. 
But I don't want games to be that realistic. Come on, you got to have a little bit of leniency. Come on, Grand Theft Auto 3, don't make a mug out of me. Okay, you know what? I'm making a mug out of myself because I scratched that police officer's car and he didn't give a toss. <laughs> no, no, I took the wrong route. Sorry about that. Don't worry. The magical pony's on its way. Okay, I really want to stash this in my garage so that I can use it more often. Just so that I have, I have an excuse to use the word pony. Because, according to the Nostalgia Critic, if you use the word pony in a video, it boosts views. Okay, here we go. Pump Action Pimp. I'm going to have to ruin some snazzy purple suits, aren't I? I don't want to do that. I like those guys. Alright, mate, calm down. Oh, sure thing, mate, sure thing. And this should be one of only, like, one or two times that ammunition is actually highlighted on the minimap. Uh, or radar, if you want to be specific. So, that sucks. Yeah, it highlights ammunition for you this one time, but every time after that, it's like, no, tough luck. you got to find it on your own. Because for some reason, they don't keep using those little icons on the minimap. And tell you what, uh, actually, now that I think about it, I just want to double-check something. Uh, let's see. Yeah, music volume set as low as it can be. Uh, maybe I'm being a bit paranoid because of copyright law and all that good stuff. Well, no, copyright law is not good stuff. <laughs> uh, that's a debate for a whole other day. But yeah, I got a bit concerned there because I, sw I swore that I could hear, like, some, I don't know, some drums and guitars in the background of the gameplay for a second. Uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm sure that I'm just getting a bit paranoid because I don't want to get shot and sued, not necessarily in that order. Can you sue a corpse? Yeah, probably. I'm sure, I'm sure you can do that. In this day and age, I'm sure that it is of no concern, like, uh, to a judge, whether or not the criminal is alive or dead. I'm sure that people have put dead bodies on trial before. It must have happened at least once. If it hasn't, then... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Anyway, right, what do we want to do now? Uh, let's see, we want to track down that pimp and blast his head off. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Oh, here we go. He's right around the corner. And wait a minute, is it? Oh, we're back at Luigi's. That's exactly where I started. I am a numpty. Uh, right, out of my way. i got to find him. And oh, there he is. Right, I believe the way this works is that we just want to crash his car. Now, that should distract him so that he gets out. Oh, God, no, no, no. Run, run, run. Car's about to explode. Run, run, run. Don't look back. Oh, didn't even need to blast his head off. Explosion did it for me. Fair enough. And they dropped their weapons. Uh, what do we pick up? Oh, I think that's an SMG. And, oh, this is something that uh, doesn't come to play very often. Uh, I don't think. Uh, we have this uh, little pager. Yeah, that's what it's called. We have that pager that tells us uh, that something cool happened. And I couldn't be bothered reading it. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that was pretty simple. And, okay, I guess now, uh, what do we want to do? Uh, actually, no, we can't, uh, access Joey's mission yet, so we might as well go here. Alright, what's going on? The fuzzball, okay, let's see what's going on. There's my man. Oh, wait, it's not. I thought you were Luigi, sorry. He seems to be in a bad mood. Police officer, mate, get it right. Uh, to be fair, I, I shouldn't be too harsh. This is years before Hot Fuzz came out. He doesn't know any better. Okay, so... Right here, we just want to... Okay, less than four girls working the fuzz board, and Luigi won't be happy. Okay, so we've got to pick up four prostitutes. Or Okay, are these prostitutes? I wasn't really paying attention to the cutscene dialogue. Um, I don't know, maybe they're just dancers there to make a living or something. You know, like, just because you're taking girls to a to a big fancy dance, it, they don't have to be working anything dirty. You know, they can just be dancers. I don't know what I'm saying. Right, okay, less than four girls and the Ouija won't be happy. So, as long as we get at least four, that's all that matters. And I don't think that it really matters, uh, like, how many you get overall, as long as it's more than four. Like... I don't know if your reward money for completing this mission increases depending on the amount of girls that are there. I don't think it matters. Like, mm, I don't know. Oh, well, we'll see what happens. And I can't remember if actually running over any of these girls causes, uh, like, a mission failure. I'm pretty sure it doesn't as long as there's still at least 
enough girls to get the mission completed left over an owl. Cheers for that. Thank you very much. Which way are you going, you wazzock? And, okay, Callahan Bridge there. Uh, that is out, and we cannot use it because our shenanigans on the bridge that blew it up in the last episode... Yeah, we ain't going there anytime soon. But it's okay because we don't need to. And, oh, ow. Wait a minute. Oh, God, there's more music playing. Uh, love, love, get out the car. Get out the car. What are you... Oh, wait, she is out of the car. Idiot. I should have been paying attention to the number. Yeah, th there was music playing just there, and... I couldn't tell if that was... Okay, to be fair, how does this work even? Like, in the music options, if you turn the music to mute, then it turns off the radio. But is there any music in the cutscenes or, like, um, uh, in the background of the gameplay that still plays? I don't know. Like, because right there we had music, but was that copyrighted music that you hear on the radio? If it is, I'll be very upset because... I put my faith in you, Rockstar. I put my... Okay, getting in the back. Okay, fair enough. I'm sure that was a perfectly good passenger seat here for you, but fair enough. Get in there with all the smoke pouring out. Okay, then. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm going to hope that the music that plays in the regular gameplay and in the cutscenes isn't copyrighted. Because if it is, I'll be very upset. I put my faith in you, Rockstar, to turn off the, uh, the copyrighted music that I don't want to be playing... And if it turns out that you lied to me, then we're going to have a whole heap of trouble. Gave you my heart and then you turn around. I haven't referenced that song in ages. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Either way, police officer's ball right around here. Uh, and actually, now that I think about it, mm, yeah, I think I'll ditch the pony for now and pick up a uh, police car instead. Because I, I like police cars. I know, it just feels good to be driving around in one. I know, careful. There we go, and yeah, that music sounds pretty generic, and it sounds like royalty-free music that you would use in a YouTube video, so yeah, hopefully that's a good sign. Yeah, I like driving around in a police car. It makes me feel important. I could pretend to be a cop in a 1970s TV police drama. Right, love, get in. We're going to go catch some criminals. Okay, no more pretending to be cops. Couldn't pull that off even if I tried. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. We've only got 1 minute 30. Where is the time gone? Oh, oh, oh. that was an epic collision. Right, okay. Uh, 1 minute 30, and there we go. Three girls, one left, and we got... Yeah, we should be able to do this because there is another prostitute slash dancer slash... I don't even know what else they could be. I don't know, maybe the waitresses. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and one more wait waitress right around the corner. There we go. Sorted. So, one minute to go, and yeah, we could pick up more just to test that theory as to whether or not picking up more girls increases your reward. But I sincerely doubt it. So, yeah, right now we're just going to... There you go, love. Oh, crap, crap. Um, Can she still... Yeah, she's still moving. It's okay. Her legs are still in peak physical condition. She's still good for waiting tables. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, even though we're in a police car, the police will still catch on to us, I'm pretty sure. So we don't want to be crashing into the back of him. And okay, I think that we've been recording for about 14 minutes now. So hey, you know what? I think this is a good place to end this video off. We've got four girls. Yeah, Luigi will be satisfied with that, I'm sure. So now I reckon we should just drive back to the hideout and whoa. Uh, this car is swerving all over the place. Uh, okay, it's pretty badly damaged. Sorry, mate. That's okay, we'll stash it and it'll hopefully repair itself. I think that's how it works. But yeah, we've done quite a bit for today, so I think this is a good point to end the video off. And there we go, $2,000. Uh, I'm not complaining, I'm actually surprised that it's that low. Uh, you know what, maybe if I did send in more girls, I would have gotten more... Ah, forget it, it doesn't matter. Right, so now we can save there, and okay, I think that should just about do it. So yeah, we did some more odd jobs for Luigi, we met Joey, and we hopefully avoided copyright law. Yeah, just an average day in the life of the stick. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.